Okay, we have started season two at Manchester United. It is Eric Ten Hag out and Graham Potter in as he becomes the new manager of Manchester United. And while some fans are worried about the appointment, I'd say it's been a decent start, especially after that 7-0 win on the opening day of the Premier League. So far, he's made two new signings in Kevin Trapp as our new goalkeeper and also Bermeer as our new starting center back. Now, today we have a lot of money to spend and we are looking at three transfer targets here to try and sign. So if you want to see more of this series, then drop a like, hit that sub button down below if you've not. And of course, Course, let's get back into it. Now we start this episode off with some transfer news saying that an Argentinian player from the MLS has been linked to Manchester United and that there's a big deadline day ahead for Graham Potter. Now first one, I think you should send your scout to Serbia to find a new center back, maybe the next Vidic. Yeah, that's definitely not a bad idea. And we are going to send our youth scouts out today, so we'll see about that. Now next one, you could sign Nuno Mendes for that left back position. Yeah, so we sold Luke Shaw in the last episode, so we need a new starting left back. And Nuno Mendes would be a perfect signing, but in this save, he's joined Liverpool, pretty much making us signing him impossible now. We might have someone else in mind though. And last one, you should sign Matoma since he played well under Potter at Brighton. Yeah, Matoma has been on our short list, I think, since episode one. And I feel like he wouldn't be a bad signing by any means, but I'm not sure he's the player we need right now. But he's gonna definitely stay on the short list for now. But okay, this team needs some reinforcements right now. We sold Vran, Luke Shaw, we sold Anthony, uh, Mason Greenwood, Jane Sancho. We sold so many players in the last episode. So as you can see, the team is pretty thin right now. Our plans are a new starting left back and then probably like reinforcing the bench, which we're gonna try to do that with this next signing here. Now, like I said, we sold Anthony already. So the only wingers we have on the bench are Elise and also Noah Phillips. I think we need one more for the bench and this guy can play like multiple positions here. And that player is Thiago Almada, the Argentinian midfielder playing right now in the MLS. Now, technically he is number 10. He's a central attacking midfielder, but he's totally got the stats to play as a winger. The man's got 89 pace, 85 dribbling. He could also play center forward too. So if we're talking like another backup for Bruno, a backup for, for the wing, he seems like a great player to have on the bench. And hey, if we ever think about replacing Bruno Fernandez, Almada could be that direct replacement. So this replaces Anthony while also giving us a midfield option too. So let's start with 40 million. They're probably gonna want a little more than that. They're just gonna flat out accept a uh, 40 million. I mean, that's kind of a no brainer for a player with that much potential. So, Tiago Almada, ready for his big move to Europe. Almada signs on the dotted line. Grand Potter makes another signing. And hey, we just signed one of Argentina's best young talents right now. When he was younger, he was called uh, the next Lino Messi. Now, I'm not sure he's gonna be that exactly, but he's gonna be a great player to have in this team. So, Almada, welcome to Manchester United. So, that makes our bench and reserves just a little bit stronger. Now, it currently is a uh, transfer deadline day. It is August uh, 31st. We are gonna make more signings, but before that, we're gonna play this Fulham game. So two games in, we sit down in six, a win and a draw, and it's time for Tiago Almada's debut for Manchester United. So he starts in the right wing over Garnacho this game. We're going to see how good he is. And if we can win this game, it'd be two wins out of our first three. So MLS to the Premier League. I mean, that's a big jump for a player. It's uh, not always easy, but he gets his debut and we're going to see what the kid can do. Now we're also wearing our new third kits for the first time. These, uh, these green and gold ones, the throwback ones. Now Fulham are definitely not a bad team by any means. So this might be a tough one, but it's a game we got to win. If we lose or draw this, Grand Potter, the pressure on him, it's going to be just like Eric Ten Hag. Now, Dallo gets it to Almada, who is on side. Almada gonna wait. Now play it back to Dallo. Good ball. Dallo can find a good shot here. Gets it back to Hoyland. Hoyland finds space. Left footed shot, and that shot goes wide from Hoyland. Okay, not a bad chance, although I wish he would have scored that. Hoyland's finishing has been a little bit inconsistent lately, which might force us to make a signing here later on. But for now, we're gonna put 100% faith in him. Last he had a Marcus. Marcus gets it to Bruno. Bruno over to De Jong. Tries to find Almada. Okay, that pass was so bad from De Jong. I wanted to play like through the defenders, not right at them. Okay, Santi Cazorla playing for Fulham. They're gonna bring it over, and they're gonna score off the post. How is Santi Cazorla playing for Fulham? I don't know, but we're 1 0 down now. Again, the defense has been the issue since day one. Like, we're just so inconsistent defensively. Okay, 1-0 down in 14 minutes. We gotta be better than that. Hoyland, Bruno. Bruno, a chance to shoot here. Bruno is gonna go near post, and Leno is gonna make that save. Frank Diong, cross in that no one even reaches that. Okay, Tiago Almada. Chance for a finesse shot. Okay, Tiago Almada, not a bad shot. We are gonna try this again, which that doesn't look bad. Martinez gets to it, but it's saved by Leno again. Okay, short corner into Bruno. Bruno drags it back to Tiago. Tiago Almada, left-footed fake shot. Now left-footed shot. Again, it's saved. Rashford, Rashford finds some space. Oh my God, it's gonna be another corner. How many shots is this? And we just put the ball in the back of the net. I guess we can't. Hoyland. Martinez, swing it over. Marcus Rashford needs a turn there. Okay, Lucas Dinier just stole that from Rashford. All those chances and no goal to show for it. Okay, defense, nowhere to be found. Literally nowhere to be found. Polina is in a shoulder that Deong. Wait, where was the foul at? They just gave them a foul? Where was it at though? Okay, they got a free kick. They might actually score this. Please don't. It's gonna be the first guy. We're gonna jump and the wall. 
does their job. Romero's gonna clear that. I don't even know how they got that free kick. Wilson gets it to Guillermo. We got no one. Okay, Dallo, Dallo. What are we doing there? Romero slides over and Dallo watches the guy run right in front of him. And he's the one who scores. Dallo on left here, he literally watches his man run right in that space. Where is the defending? I'm controlling Romero there. 30 minutes in, down 2 0 to Fulham. Yeah, Grand Potter is gonna be uh, under a lot of pressure at halftime. If we can get one for halftime, we might be in a better spot or at least have a chance in this game. Marcus, I need that pace. Marcus is running down the line here. Marcus, I need you to score that. Leno has made now probably like seven saves in this first half. Is it bad finishing or is it just good saves? Like, I don't even know. Corner in. That looks good. Dallow. Bro, Leno saved that off the crossbar. Casemiro gets it to Marcus Rashford. That shot is going to be blocked. Bro, this is the most unlucky first half we had so far in this series. At least, like, attacking-wise. So, first half, 2-0 down, and that was embarrassing, basically. But how many shots do we have there? We had nine shots, and Leno made six saves in that first half. That is ridiculous. If these shots can go in, we have a chance. But if Leno keeps making these saves, then we should just get our flight home to Manchester, honestly. Bruno. Oh, man, we had Rashford there. All right, Casemiro, good still. Now, De Jong turns. De Jong plays it to Bruno into Thiago Amada. And Almada scores on his Manchester United debut. Okay, great way to start the second half. Our new signing scores. Great pass by uh, Bruno in the end, but Almada, great first touch and a good finish. All right, welcome to Manchester United. Come on, if these goals start falling, we will win this game. Okay, Bruno, lead this counterattack. We got Hoyland in a run. Hoyland, hold it up. Didn't quite work, but De Jong leans it up now, Bruno. Almada again. Almada in a good spot. Almada looking for his second. He's going to shoot. And Almada's got two. Okay, they called him the next Lionel Messi when he was younger. He might actually be that. On the right wing, he's already got two goals. And he's the one getting us back in this game now. 2 2. That is beautiful to see. Someone can score here. Come on, this is our game to win now. The momentum has shifted completely. Almada's got Bruno. Almada. Crossover. Bruno header attempt. Oh, it's right at Leno, though. Not a bad move, though. Wilson gets it to someone. Okay, Martinez. That tackle needs to be stronger, but he does win it in the end. Now, Dallo gets it to Almada. Almada's got options here. Almada waiting for a pass. Gets it to Bruno. Bruno. One pass over to Marcus. Marcus left-footed shot. Okay, Tolson was so strong there. Oh, this this third goal is there for us, though. Casemiro steals it. Now has a chance, maybe? Casemiro to Frankie de Jong, who's going to shoot that. Oh, this is blocked by Lukic right in front of him. Raquel May tackled. Okay, Casemiro, I need you to make a tackle. He was just watching there. I had to control and make that tackle. We got 15 minutes. Malassia, good run here. Malassia is going to find Rasmus Hoyland. Hoyland, I need you to score this. Hoyland's going to shoot. Hoyland has hit the post. Bro, how unlucky can we get in one game? Oh, no. How are they in there? How is he actually in? Trap is one-on-one, -on -one, can't make the save, and they actually score. Bro, how is he get a one-on-one -on -one chance there? This just feels like, again, like, like last game we played in the first episode of Season 2. It feels like the game just doesn't want us to win today. Okay, Mainu, uh, Mason Mount, and Garnacho on. We got to fight for a draw here now, at least. Almada gets it over to Dallo. Dallo, back to Frank Dion. Got to find an option here in the middle. Mainu to Malassia. Malassia gets it to Mount. Mount into... Frankie de Jong and Frankie de Jong scores to make it 3-3. Bro, what is happening in this game? We still got nine minutes. We can still win this game somehow. I didn't think Fulham would be this dramatic. But okay, 3-3. Three, three. And we got time to still win this game. Muriel gets it to Wilson. If they score again, I'm going to lose my mind. De Jong, de Jong, good tackler. Almada can't get it. Vermeer, Vermeer saves us there. We have a chance. Garnacho, Hoyland, time it right. Instead, let's hold it. Mason Mount gets it to Frankie de Jong. Frankie de Jong, Mason Mount. Gets it to Garnacho. Oh, that shot was so bad. I was so rushed. Okay, we have a final chance here, maybe. Mason Mount gets it over to Thiago Almada. Almada, a chance to win the game, and Leno makes another save. Bro, how many saves has Leno made this game? Final chance. De Jong, corner in. It's going to fall. No, keeper's going to get it. And that is going to be full time. Bro, I can't believe we even drew this game. It feels like the game did not want us to win this at all. So to get a point, that might be actually a positive thing. Bro, 16 shots to four. And Leno made eight saves. Like, bro, it is so infuriating. I got to say, though, Hoyland needs to be more consistent. He had a chance early on to put us up 1-0 and then that chance to uh, tie it later in the game. And he basically missed both those chances. If we want to be an elite team, like, we need a striker who is reliable. And Rasmus is good, but he's just inconsistent. And then behind him, we have Sekumara who's a good young player, but I'm not sure he's ready to start yet. So I think because of that Hoyland's uh, inconsistent form, we might sign actually another striker in this window just to ensure that in case Hoyland gets injured or Mara, we have another striker on the team who can score goals and someone who's probably more experienced than uh, both of those players. And he's actually a former United player and we're talking about Memphis Depay. Now his time at United wasn't that great, but after he left them, he's carved out a very decent career. And I think it'd make me a lot more comfortable having him as a backup to Hoyland. He's more experienced. He can play at striker also on the wing. Definitely not going to be like an everyday starter, I don't think, but on the bench, he's better than Mara. 
Hoyland. And in case Hoyland is like out of form, I would not mind throwing to Pai up top. So it's not exactly a signing that I had in mind, but Hoyland has been just so inconsistent. So we need one more striker on this squad. So let's try, let's try 33.5. And Atletico Madrid are going to say yes to that. Okay, we're making this deal happen. So Memphis to Pai, welcome back to Manchester United. It's kind of a funny one, him playing for United before, but I feel like it is one that makes a lot of sense for us. And more importantly, it adds some experience to our uh, front line. And you can see just instantly our bench looks even stronger now. So Almada to Pai brought in on deadline day. We got room for one more signing. And I think that's got to be a new starting left back. So right now we got what we got, I think, yeah, 10 hours left. And I wanted to sign Nuno Mendes. I also wanted to sign uh, Theo Hernandez from AC Milan, but I feel like he's probably not going to leave Milan anytime soon. So it kind of feels a bit unrealistic. So instead, I'm thinking of Ferland Mendy, who's currently playing at Newcastle United. Kind of like a Real Madrid castaway. But the main reason we sold Shaw was he was too slow. Mendy is not slow at all. And with his stats, he's just like so well-rounded as a modern left back, where I feel like he's kind of exactly what we're looking for. He's actually like pretty similar to uh, Nuno Mendes. He's got better uh, physicality though. So that should help us defensively. And I like Malassia too. So if we got Malassia and Mendy as our two fullbacks, our two left backs, we're pretty much covered there. So let's try 27.5 from Newcastle United. And they are going to want, they're going to want Mara. I'm not giving you Mara. Let's do an even 30 million here. 30 million. And they are going to just accept that. All right. So Ferland Mendy is signed up as our third signing on deadline day. So three players brought in this one being the, the starter replacement. And he should make us more just defensively sound and more defensively covered, I should say. So Mendy, welcome to Manchester United. Our new starting left back. So Memphis Depay, Thiago Almada, and Mendy brought in, along with uh, Bermeer and Kevin Trapp. That is our first transfer window of season two complete. Now, I feel like we should have three wins out of three to start the Premier League season. Like, those last two, I feel like we're so unlucky. But transfer window is now shut, and we gotta try and bounce back. Now, we're still in a sixth place after three games. We cannot fall too far behind, though, Man City. We can't let someone just run away with the title this year. So next up is Newcastle. They're in uh, third place. They've had a good start. Of course, we just signed Mendy from them. So we're gonna see Mendy's debut. I think I also might play uh, Kobe Mainu over Casemiro. And then uh, Memphis will get his debut in this game, probably off the bench at some point for Hoyland. But other than Mainu, we go with our regular starting 11 now, plus for Land Mendy. And man, we just desperately need a win here. Now, is this the man to uh, try and save our defense on the left side, at least? Hopefully it is. So Mendy debut, Mainu gets a start. Now, if we draw or lose this game, the panic meter will be pretty much full, I think. And they might already call for uh, Grandpa to be sacked if they're not already. Hey, Mainu, what a tackle, but it didn't fall to a teammate. That tackle was strong, though. Jolinton gets it over to Gordon. Gordon versus Dallow. Somehow got by him there. Romare has to make a tackle. Doesn't. And then Trap does make the save. That could have been another just terrible start. Now, Dallow is really good going forward, but defensively, I'm thinking about Wambi Saka. I probably should have started in this game to give him a chance, but he's a player I'm looking at the defense. The reason for our just inconsistency, but okay, Dallow. Gets it all. Oh, just going to fire that into Hoyland. All right, Mendy. First defensive sequence as a United player. First a former teammate. Okay, doesn't do that great there. Mendy versus Isak. Isak is just dribbling in the corner right now. Into Almidon. Martinez can make a tackle there, but he does make a second tackle at least. Okay, their defense is kind of cut out here. Bruno to Rashford. Rashford gets it to Ferland Mendy. Now Mendy looking for a pass. Going to cross it in the middle. Oh man, that was such a good cross to Garnacho. Barely got cleared. Dolinton, dangerous. Gets it to Gadeska. Gets an Isak and then Martinez saves us a goal, I think. That yeah, defense still just looks very questionable. Bruno though. Bruno into Hoyland, who is onside. Rasmus, I need you to finish this. I need you to, Rasmus. Good finish. Okay, just great counterattack with uh, Bruno and Hoyland. And Hoyland, we need to see more of that. Just more consistent finishing. With our defense being so bad, we got to lead by like scoring goals. And okay, 1 0, 25th minute to Manchester United. Garnacho, good steal on Gordon. Okay, De Jong is showing some pace here, actually. De Jong feeds in Hoyland. Hoyland goes for a slight finish. Hoyland has a brace. Look at that. See, we signed Memphis to Pie, put some pressure on Hoyland, and he's delivering now that pressure of that player behind you. And also, De Jong, what an assist. This pass is just perfect. So much so that it just needs like a first time finish from Hoyland. And it just needs a little bit of placement just right by the keeper there. Okay, 2 0. We look much better this game. Especially with with Hoyland. Defense needs to just stay strong though. Do not let them back in this game. Gordon gets it to Bermer. Bermer, clear it. I'm not messing around there. Especially with a 2-0 lead, I am just clearing that. Mendy, Mendy, great tackle there. Now Manu gives it to Mendy. Mendy, Rashford, Hoyland, turn there. Gives it to Rashford. Rashford turns. Gets it back to Mendy. Mendy in to Bruno Fernandez. Over to Frankie de Jong. Oh, we got to score that though. That was such a good move. All right, corner swung in. That's going to go to what? Uh, literally no one. Our corners are so bad. Martinez gives it to Bruno. Bruno back to Frankie de Jong. What a good tackle by Botman though. Martinez and Gordon. Martinez, that's a good tackle right there. Hoyland, through to Garnacho. Get it over to Bruno. Bruno swings it over to Ferland Mendy, who's got space. Crossover. Oh man, I thought that was going to fly to Garnacho. Okay, we look good today though. Dallo, Bruno is kind of a breakaway here. Bruno gets it to Dallo again. Dallo, bring this forward. We're going to go for an early cross here that. Oh, what a cross. And then somehow Nick Pope also saves that though. That might've been off a Newcastle player. I don't even know. But hey, first half, 2-0 up. I'm liking what I've seen so far. I think Hoyland feels threatened by Memphis Depay. So it's forcing him to play a little bit better. We got that like competition now in the squad more so. Manu, Hoyland gets it to De Jong. De Jong, good turn. 
Speeds in Hoyland. Hoyland, can you get that? Hoyland almost did. Pass over to Guimanas. I mean, they have the players that get back in this, and this is dangerous. Bramer, though. Bramer, strong tackle from the Varane replacement. Now, Garnacho, Dallo, we got space here. A lot of space. Dallo is going to feed in Rasmus Hoyland, who's on the hat trick. Can he complete it? Hoyland shoots, and Hoyland completes the hat trick. Okay, we are just trashing Newcastle now. And Hoyland has been so consistent in this game. Now we got to see if he can, like, bring this over to the next 10, 15 games. But what a game for him. Rashford, Mendy, man. Mendy has worked just seamlessly into the team. Now he's showing off his pace. Does he have a cross here? Cross to Hoyland, maybe. Hoyland! Oh, what a cross, but that's barely cleared by uh, Dan Byrne. Garnacho gets it to Dallo, who's in again. We could get four here. Dallo looking for a finish of his own, and Newcastle just can't defend us. 4-0 in the 66th minute. See, if we're scoring, if we're actually, like, putting away our chances, this is how good we can be. This will alleviate some pressure on uh, Grand Potter, that is for sure. I mean, they're not giving up, though. They're still trying to get one back in this game, which Bermeer... Doesn't do great there, and then somehow Isak is going to score there? How did the ball even get to him? Okay, let's, let's relax. Let's not overreact. It's 4-1. We got three players there, and no one can help trap out, though. But okay, three subs on Memphis to pie on for his debut. Was that a pass by Memphis? Memphis! That was your first touch? But okay, also Alex Scott, and I think, uh, who was the other player? You know what? I completely forgot. Now, they're starting to pressure us, and we cannot make mistakes here, because that is how you let a team back in the game, which Martinez did great there. Trap. That is some decent keeping there. Martinez gets it to Bruno Fernandez, gets it to Manu. Manu has got Memphis here. Memphis. Oh, okay. Willick stole that so quickly. He had a speed boost there to get in front of Manu. Oh, yeah. The two other players that came on were Almada and Alex Scott. What did Almada just do? I don't know, but he just won the ball back. Okay, wait. That is an unfortunate bounce. Thankfully, it goes out. That is unorthodox defending from Tiago Almada. And they're pressuring us so much. I'm trying not to make a mistake here. Bruno tries to play forward in Hoyland. Hoyland is going to try to find Almada. Almada needed to keep that run the outside, not the inside. We got two minutes. They're not making this comeback. They're a good team, so I'll give them that, uh, I'll give them that one goal. But 4 1, it's still going to be a commanding win. Mendy, Mendy, great tackle on his former team. And okay, that's full time. 4-1. If we can do this now consistently, we have a chance to challenge for the Premier League title. Okay, we simmed about like three more Premier League games and we actually won all three of them. It reversed teams like Everton, uh, Wolves, Crystal Palace. So teams were definitely better than and hey, we won all three. So now we're in second place after seven games. That's much better than uh, six. It's just, can we keep this up? Can we be consistent? Now, next up is the Champions League. It's actually Champions League match day two. So our group this year is Leverkusen, Marseille, and Victoria Polzin. Now, Leverkusen, Marseille, it's not an easy group. And last year we got grouped so that cannot happen this year we simmed match day one which was versus uh, Polson, which i was a one no win but now these next two games against leverkusen and marseille these are the true tests for this team and that's kind of what grand potter says in his press conference he says we've definitely had an inconsistent start but once some of the new faces settle in he thinks we can go on a run and maybe that run starts versus leverkusen now i think for this game i'm gonna lean more towards experience so i'm gonna put on memphis for garnacho so memphis gets his uh, first start united other than that uh pretty much same first team and if we could win here versus leverkusen that would be a statement Especially with them being the current uh, German champions, the Bundesliga winners. Also, our first time wearing our away kit, uh, the blue kit. So, big game in the early part of our season. I want to see a game just like that Newcastle one. Now, Mendy driving this forward. Yeah, it's it to Bruno Fernandez, who they're laying off. They're going to let shoot. Okay, Lindelof just cleared that on a, on a volley. That was a bit wild. Mendy finds Bruno. Man, there's a, there's space in the field here. Mendy gets it to Frank de Jong. Frank de Jong. Okay, don't shoot that. Don't shoot that. Keep it, though. Get it to Dallo. Back to Frankie. Now, Frankie crossover. That was meant for Hoyland. Did not even go towards him. You know, they're coming right back at us. Immobile up top. Dangerous player. Gonna Martinez make tackle. Verts gets it back, though. Another tackle by Martinez. Get it out. Just clear it. Just clear that thing. Yeah, Verts is gonna be very dangerous in this game. It gets it to Frimpong. Still got Frimpong. He's got Gabriel Jesus, too. Okay, this team is insane, actually. Bremer, good tackle. It's another clearance. Bro, they got Jesus. They got Verts. They got Frimpong, Kempembe. This team is insane. Oh my, what happened there? I don't even know, but I think Rashford stole that. Hoyland, Dion, get it to Dallo. Dallo gets it to Memphis. Over to Bruno. Into Hoyland. Hoyland, no, man, that shot was inches away from being just a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Bruno through to Memphis to Pai, who I think is on side, and that's going to be a save uh, from their keeper. Not a bad shot from Memphis. Now, corner in by Dion. Casemiro. Man, our corners, they're just like never at all at a good angle. Dion to Bruno. Bruno finesse shot. Frimpong blocks it. Okay, Hoyland. Is going to go for, uh, okay, Hoyland, what are we doing there? He didn't even take a touch. That was so weird. Casemiro, from distance, shot is right at the keeper, though. Yeah, this game feels like it's going to be a high-scoring battle. Mendy, Casemiro, good ball to Deong. Deong waits for Bruno. Bruno, first-time shot. What a shot by Bruno Fernandez. Okay, 28th minute, 1-0 to Man United. Deong just, like, slid that right into Bruno's path. Just kind of slid it there, and then Bruno, the first-time shot is beautiful. Okay, 1-0 up, good start. I feel like they're going to score at some point with all the attacking threat they have. So this might be a high-scoring game. I don't know. Frimpong to Jesus. Jesus is a player that on competitive mode, on ultimate, is very hard to defend. Deong though did well there so he's a player that i am legit scared of bruno plays a great pass though to 
Rasmus Hoyland, Bruno, that is the pass of the season already. Bro, he laid that right into Hoyland's path this time. And then Hoyland, good finish. Oh, that pass is just beautiful. And Hoyland is all of a sudden a clinical finisher. I don't think he's missed one shot since signing Memphis to Pie. Okay, 2-0 in the 34th minute. This right here is a great start in Germany for us. Especially after they look like scoring a few times. Premier, Premier, good tackle on Jay Seuss. Okay, get it. Get it back to trap. Bruno to Mendy. Mendy to Marcus. Marcus in the box. Gonna stop. Gets it back to Hoyland. Hoyland shoots, bro. Hoyland is just not missing. That first game, he couldn't find the net. But now he's scoring just left to right. And that's a 3-0 first half versus this great Leverkusen team. I don't know what has happened since that first game, but it's working. Bro, 3-0 in 39 minutes. We might be finding some form here. They do have a corner, though, which De Jong will get that out. Not the best clearance at all, but Trap. Did he save that? No, it was actually just a bad header, kind of. Bruno lays it off to Mendy. Let's keep just playing the same way. The more goals right now, the better, definitely. Casemiro's got room to shoot. We're shooting this. Casemiro, long shot. Keeper does make that save. Okay, we're going to do a short corner to Bruno. Bruno back to De Jong and now De Jong is going to swing. Okay, De Jong, what was that cross? That was like a line drive right at Immobile. Let's try this again. Bruno back to Frank De Jong. Left footed cross in. That looks decent, but it is going to be cleared and uh, that's first half. That was pretty much a perfect first half. Just the question remains, can this now be consistent? Oh, Bruno Fernandez. What a tackle that is. He might be struggling in real life, but in this save, he's always so good. Now Rashford's got room here. Rashford Plays it to Rasmus. Rasmus, get it back to Rashford. Good ball. Rashford is going to shoot that near post, and it's 4-0 to Manchester United. Oh, it might be their defense. Their defense might be really bad, because we're getting chance after chance, and it's pretty much wide open. I know they're playing a three at the back. Maybe we were just exploiting that. I don't know, but Marcus, great left-footed finish. These last two games have been just if we can actually score. If the keeper doesn't make amazing saves constantly, like, we should have scored probably five goals in that first game. If that doesn't happen, we can definitely compete. Now, free kick sent in. Martin Martinez, that is one of the worst clearances I've ever seen. And you're a center back. That makes no no sense. Memphis to Bruno. Once again, look at the space here. We got so much space. Memphis making a run. Dallo. First time ball to him, but it goes to the keeper first. Not a bad idea. Dallo to Memphis to pie. Memphis. De decent fake shot, actually. This shot isn't going to right the keeper, though. Okay, that's a cross in to Jesus, which Premier doesn't make a tackle there. Jesus is doing moves left to right. Patrick Stig versus... Why is Rashford defending here in the box? I don't really like to see that. Okay, Premier tackle, and we do survive that again. All right, four subs. We got Almada. We got Mason Mount. We got Manu coming on. I think Alex Scott, too. So we got 15 minutes. Second half has been a little bit slow. But when a game is 4-0, that's kind of how it goes. After these last two games, Graham Potter has got to be uh, very much relieved here. Oh, man. Counterattack. Almada gets it over to... Alex Scott. Oh, we should have scored that. We should have went to the right. That is my fault. Cross in by Bruno Fernandez. Looks decent, but okay. Wait. Manu. Manu gets the header. Frimpong clears it off the line. That could have been Manu's goal. Man, we could have easily five here. I feel like Leverkusen are a good team, but it's the way they're set up. It's just not that great defensively. And that is where we really destroyed them. Memphis. I mean, look at there. Look at there's so much space here. Mason Mount in on goal to make it five. Maybe Mason. Go for a slight finish, and the keeper is going to save it. We should have five goals this game. All right, final corner of the game. Cleared, actually caught by Kevin Trapp. And that's a 4-0 win versus a very good Leverkusen team. That is really good to see from this team. And as you can see right now, Bruno top score, Hoyland in second, uh, Rashford in third. The uh, best players in the team are getting the job done. And also, Frank De Jong, eight assists so far. That is also really good to see. All right, it's now time to send out our youth scouts to try to find maybe the next uh, youth star of Manchester United. So first scout we're going to send, uh, we're going to send to Portugal. I mean, it should be pretty obvious what we're looking for here so portugal let's do let's do let's do three months so first one portugal next one we are going to do serbia we're going to look for a center back i think we might only send two the scouts out i don't think we need to send the third one out so portugal and serbia that's our first half of the season uh youth scouting run and hopefully they find us a special player now i forgot to mention we did change the uh, tactics in this team to wing play Graham potter has implemented that new style so we're definitely not pressing as much as a team but i feel like attacking wise we're scoring goals right now so it's working so that was one change that Graham potter implemented and now next game is versus marseille in the champions league so probably the third best team in this group if we can win here, that might confirm us getting out of the group after only three games. Now, I want to give Noah Phillips a chance. He hasn't played in a minute, so I want to give him a chance this game. So let's start Phillips actually over Garnacho. Let's do that. Uh, let's do Manu for Casemiro. He's played good in uh, place of him. Uh, let's do Juan Bisaka for Dallo. And I think we go with that there. So we got the youngster in the team. And let's see if we can keep this up. For that first game versus Fulham was so frustrating. But these last two have made me so much more happy. They were actually like scoring goals. We're not conceding left to right. Getting some wins. Like it feels good. So I want to see that continue in this game. Already I'm seeing Santi Menez. I'm seeing Vitinha. Looks like a decent. A Marseille team. Now, Bruno. Early shot, though. Okay, Bruno. 
Rebound in by Hoyland. What is that kind of start? It is 1-0 in two minutes. That might be the fastest we've scored in this series so far. Bro, it was a Bruno shot. Just kind of like a joke of a shot from that far out. The keeper can't control it and Hoyland pounces on it. What kind of start is this? How lucky is this after we got so unlucky in the first game? Hoyland just is, gets to it first. Okay, what a start for us right now. Graham Potter is looking like a mastermind all of a sudden. Now, Noah Phillips crossing has gotten much better since last year. I think it's uh, maybe in the 85s. So we're definitely gonna try and swing some uh, crosses in with him. And we have to. He is the next David Beckham, which is actually on the ball right now. So Noah is going to cross that in. See, that's not a bad cross. Got the play style for it too. Menez gets it up to Patina. This is dangerous. But Martinez did so well there. Mendy, Mendy, great tackle from our new left back. And he has not really put a foot wrong since uh, joining us. Now Phillips gets it to Wambisaka. Wambisaka has a pass to Hoyland here. Hoyland, two. Bruno Fernandez, and that's going to be 2-0 to Manchester United. Bro, we are just playing, like, amazing these last three games. Already 2-0. Like, a switch has just flipped in this team. 23rd minute, 2-0. Again, Mendy, he has literally been amazing so far. Not the highest rated left back we could have signed, but he's been good. Now, Noah Phillips, another chance to cross it. Noah, whoa! That just hit the crossbar. Bro, was that a cross or a shot? He's going to say that was a shot. And we all know it was a cross. Bruno into Noah again. Now, Noah's got a chance to find Hoyland is gonna pick out oh my frankity yong just went for something special hoyland gonna try and turn he's gonna shoot and okay that shot goes well far wide that's probably his first miss uh since the first game but noah phillips crossing is actually insane now his dribbling is not too bad either which ball to wambisaka wambisaka into bruno bruno that turn was probably unnecessary and the keeper's gonna save it yeah we probably didn't need that uh turn bruno gets it to frankie frankie over to wambisaka wambisaka is gonna try to aim for bruno that cross was uh not that great and they're playing like so slow attacking wise they're keeping the ball a lot but they're just playing so slow like just waiting for their moment but wambisaka can tackle there they've not found that moment yet and this might be our moment bruno to noah phillips once again noah gets it to hoyland hoyland Gets, oh man, that was gonna be a good pass to Bruno. Okay, right now we're kind of cruising, and uh, that's the first half. Erland Mendy could cross this in. Not many options, but he's gonna swing this. Man, we have a lot of good crosses in the box, but just not many players attack them like they should. That shot's deflected. It's not many crossing targets in the team. That's the issue. Noah gets it to Wambisaka, though. Wambisaka is gonna find Oyland over to. Frankie Young first time shot is powerful. Oh my, is that gonna be another rebound? No, it's not. It almost was though. All right, two subs on Mata, then Alex Scott coming on. Give uh, Rashford some rest here. I like this Manu and uh, Alex Scott midfield pairing. I feel like they complement each other very well. And that's kind of like the future of our midfield. Both English players got chemistry in the English national team. Pretty much the future of our team in the midfield, at least. Oh, Marseille are playing so slow, but there's still a threat here. Menez. Menez versus Vermeer. Okay, that's two missed tackles. Vermeer blocking the near post here. Gets it to Guendouzi, and that's a good turn. Vermeer. Vermeer. Oh, what a tackle by Vermeer though. They're playing so slow. This might be the slowest I've seen a team play against us they're not getting like horrible chances though palacios to uh klaus jimenez frankie de jong frankie de jong good tackle and Manu cleans it up all right final two subs memphis on and also turibo on for uh vermeer hey bruno that's a great pass to amada now amada he's gonna try and swing this to no phillips but it was a good idea but not gonna work now if they score here they're gonna make this a game literally out of nowhere that cross is decent martinez clears it though palacios gets it to klaus Wamisaka gotta make that tackle can't though mendy can't make that tackle trap makes a good save there trap has been uh definitely questionable so far but he is making the needed save here and there okay now all of a sudden they're pressing but we just broke their press nd gets it over to bruno bruno gets it through that pass has got to be better noah to alex scott now please this got to be three no right here and it's gonna be one bisaka actually passes it over to memphis and memphis gets his first goal for manchester united bro they played i've never played a team that played that slow do marseille play like that in real life i don't know but memphis scores his first goal since returning to united and he's got to thank one bisaka for that he just fed him on a plate basically okay extremely extremely slow game but three no win i'd say three like confident commanding wins right now we're looking very good so far i mean mendy memphis to pie almost look like three really good signings and yeah champions of group stage that is three wins out of three now much much better than last year it's just the question is still how long can we keep this up can we keep it up enough to like pose actually a title challenge that's the question we need answered but after such a frustrating first game this episode is pretty much amazing after that now next episode our youth scouts are going to return from portugal and serbia and i guess you gotta say this has now been a great start under grand potter and if we could find some youth players this start might get even better so drop a like down below if you want to see that and if you click on screen i bet you'll like this video too